click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the postulate of the Bohr theory related to the structure of an atom and now here we are going to talk about the spectral lines that could be explained with the help of the Bohr's theory. So what are those? Let me talk about that in this topic. Hello friends, in the previous topic as we have discussed about the postulate of the Bohr's atomic theory, in that case we have got to know that is whenever the electron jumps from the higher orbital to lower orbital, obviously it will emit radiation in the form of energy. So in this case also let me talk about the line spectrums that are being exhibited by the hydrogen and in this case also the Bohr's postulate plays a very vital role. So here suppose if we consider, suppose if the electron is present in the higher orbit or the orbit which is having a higher quantum number, in this case let me name it as Ni and suppose if the electron jumps from the higher orbit to the lower orbit, in this case basically we are considering it as a orbit which consists of a smaller or a lower quantum number that is we could consider it as nf. So whenever the electron jumps from ni to nf obviously it will emit energy. So the energy difference between these two orbitals is denoted by delta e and we know that is the delta e has a formula delta e is equals to n of i minus n of f so that is the higher orbital to the lower orbital the energy gap between that is known as delta e that is the energy difference so because of which we could have an easy idea that is how the line spectrums are being obtained for the hydrogen so for that we have another equation related to the energy difference that is delta e is equals to r h square bracket 1 upon n f square minus 1 upon n i square in this case the n f square it means n f in this case it means the orbit which is having a lower quantum number and n i is the one that is the orbit that is having a higher quantum number so based on this let us understand how these spectrals are being obtained we know that is delta e is equals to h that is Planck's constant into that is the frequency that is in hertz so in that case we also know that is the wave number is nothing but it is a ratio of frequency and the speed of light that is c which is nothing but that is 3.0 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second or 3.0 into 10 raised to 10 centimeter per second so in that case we will get to know an equation and that equation is related to the wave number which is that is mu naught is equals to that is 109677 into square bracket of 1 upon nf square minus 1 upon ni square and that is in centimeter inverse. So this equation is very much similar to that of the Rydberg's equation and where the 109677 is known as Rydberg's constant. So based on that we could get to know about that how this wave number it changes if the electron jumps from the higher orbital to a lower orbital and based on that we have basically five series so that I could explain you that how the spectral lines are being obtained so for that we have the diagram and the diagram is so here on your screen you can see multiple series that is Lyman series, Balmer series, Peston series, P fund and bracket series. So here basically I'm going to talk about the Lyman series first so in that case basically we could get to know that is the electron jumps from the higher orbital to the lower orbital but the lower orbital is n1 is equals to 1 or we could also call it as that is nf is equals to 1. So the electron jumps from the second orbit to the first orbit, from the third to the first, from the fourth to the first. So in that case we could get a series and that is nothing known as Lyman series. These are the line spectra and they have a specific name known as Lyman series. So talking about the next one that is Balmer series. So in that case we will get to know that is the electron jumps from the higher orbital to the lower orbital but the lower orbital is the second orbital. That means the excited electron for the hydrogen it can jump from the third to the second orbit from fourth to the second orbit from fifth to the second orbit so in that case as you can see on your screen this is how basically we could get the multiple line spectra and this is related to hydrogen so this is what i want to talk about the explanation of the line spectra by bohr's atomic theory and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then 
डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब ई के चैनल थैंक यू सो मच